Eyes open. Properties of the villages, along with the villages insurance, Citizens First Bank, Villages Golf Cart, are also a presenting sponsor for us. And they're out there working hard at the moment. Um, along with that is our Villages Health um, as well, who is on the, the exhibitor side to stop by and visit with them as well. We also had the Villages Regional Hospital. We also had Lake Medical Imaging, we have SECO, we have SunCool as well. So thank you to all of those sponsors who helped us to make this possible. And I'd like to introduce real quickly to you the president of Florida Blue Medicare, Kathy Feeney, to say a few words. Oh, you guys can do better than that. And I'm gonna put my cowboy hat on because I didn't have all the garb, so here it is. I look great in a hat, don't I? So, I can't tell you how happy um, the Florida Blue Medicare specifically to be here. It's an honor, and it's more than being a title sponsor. It's we're new to the villages um, this year, so we want to become embedded in this in the in the community, so that we're seen beyond just being an insurance company. So, um, also, I want to give a, a shout out to Helping Hands um, because all the proceeds from the event go out. One of the shooting ranges in the country, right here in the villages. I encourage you to go down and learn. Learn about the firearms. Learn about it. Like spiders and snakes, we're always afraid of something that we don't know anything about. And if you watch the news, you're going to be scared to death of a firearm. Learn about it, ladies and gentlemen. Take that opportunity. Well, you remember the, the great movie Shane? That classic line, Shane, in the movie. What is it? A gun only is bad. As the person but we got some bad hombres on the arena right now. The first one is a 12-year-old. Well, 13 years old. He came up through the, the program. We have a Wrangler program. Remember I told you about teaching them gun safety and teaching them horsemanship. Well, my granddaughter is six years old. She rides in cowboy mounted shooting. My horse follows me and we go through the same course as the adults do. And I want you to know, when you teach a young person how to take care of an animal, you teach them respect, you teach them work ethic, you teach them dignity. And it's something that is priceless. If you've ever had to take care of a horse, you know that's big work. And she's up every morning to meet her horse, and she can't wait. She's like, Papa, Papa, do we see this weekend? So they up not this weekend. She really looks forward to it. And that being said, every third weekend, of the month in Lady Lake at the El Cross Ranch and Arena, we do cowboy mounted shooters and we have some of the top shooters in the country right here in Central Florida. Without a doubt. People think Florida is peaches and oranges. Let me tell you folks, the Spanish brought cattle and horses here before Texas and Oklahoma were even named. And if y'all know what a cracker is, we'll tell you what that is a little bit later, but don't call up the cowboy whenever you our first shooter, Ethan Moody, 13 years old, lives in Hastings, Florida. Second se season in shooting, rides a 15-year-old quarter horse named Pat, and he is a men's level two. He's been riding for four years, and he started out as a wrangler, and as wranglers, you go through the course, you don't shoot. You don't shoot until you're 12 years old, and we make that decision. If you're handling a gun properly, if you understand firearms and you're safe with it, we allow you to start shooting at 12 years old. There he is, ladies and gentlemen, Ethan Moody. Yeah, and I know this horse here. This little horse is named Pat. Y'all watch this horse. It is Patty. Moves out, does everything he's doing for you guys. All right, you got the green light, Ethan. All right, cowboy, get you one. I want to thank our sheriff out there, Sheriff Don Mains. He's out there on the porch for safety reasons. This is going to happen to you when you're short. Yes. It is cold. Here he goes, y'all. What a sport for your grandchildren right here. Get them started right. 13 years old. Look at that! Rock and roll! I'm gonna do 
what we call the run down. That's where you let the string out and let the pound go. Second penalty. If you drop the loaded gun, that means he's going to miss five targets plus dropping the gun. That's 30 seconds of penalty. So it's kind of like barrel racing, only you get charged penalties for everything that doesn't work out for you. This is Patty Hines. Yeah. Patty Hines will be out next, and she's from Summerfield, Florida, right up the street. Right, the smart red Peggy, aka Shorty, 17 year old quarter horse. Originally trained and competed in cutting, taking the mountain shooting, and knows the job very well. Now, the, the key part here is she's a senior level school. I for people to see, that means we have a bunch of people here that aren't quite that old yet, but I can see you getting to our senior level, which is 48 or 50 years old. It's 50. It's 50 years old to become a senior. And what we do is we make it competitive. I'm a senior level, senior men's level six. That's the top of the scale. Level six is the top. Excuse me, Eric, uh, uh, you, what, uh, 42? Oh, she's a senior, so we'll see you on the third Saturday then. Okay, what the senior does is it allows the, the older folks to still compete against folks their own age. That way you're not running against Ethan Moody out there in the first runs. We go level one through six, and level one is somebody that has just started. A lot of times, walk the course and shoot, because for a lot of us, that would be a big deal on its own, just being able to shoot and ride a horse. Now, this young lady is a senior ladies level four. She's from Summerfield, Florida. She's been shooting nine years. And this is Patty Hines, and I want you to know behind the scenes, this lady did a lot of the homework. So we can show you this today. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Patty Hines. Who knows the Patty? She's on foot. Let me see the Patty Hines. You see her riding with her legs a lot, y'all. There's not a lot of hand movement, but you have to have that gun hand ready. Oh, she's clean so far. Oh, two for the heartbeat are out there. Now she's gonna run that. Turn that barrel, and I want to hear everybody yell, run down! Run down! There we go, it's a run down. Nice. Uh, this is a real gun fight. Some of us might not be picking up for that after but come on, that's pretty good. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the next rider in the arena is Carol Matthews. We call her Mill Mil Skinner Carol, and she's going to be riding a four, quarter horse, no, thoroughbred something cross. What is a mule? Yeah, she has a mule. Okay, this is Mill Skinner Carol, and this, this lady, ladies and gentlemen, is, and she gave me permission to say this, 75 years young. Miss <laughs> Patty. Betty Hines, F2, and here comes Carol Lynn Matthews. She's a senior ladies, level three, has been shooting for 12 years. I'm sorry for many words. Mule Skinner Carol in the hand. If you think about the Industrial Revolution, ladies and gentlemen, the horse, and especially the mule, they moved everything. They plowed the field. They pulled our wagons and cities and, and wars that were instrumental. Her outfit is depicting Calvary style. She's got the Calvary pants and jacket on. And then she is in a McClellan saddle with the bed roll and all that. Scream roll down! <laughs> the next fighter in the arena is from New York. Anybody here from New York? Come on, raise your hand from New York. Hey, we got one here. What kind of cowboy hat is that, man? Oh, it's strong. 
It's a crop dust. A crop dust? Yes, yes, I heard of it. Well, I think it looks fashion. It keeps the doctor from cutting on your ears, right? It's, it's all about not getting cancer. This is shade. This man is going to be in a, a union yoke uniform, and this is Tom Hopper, New York cowboy. Let's hear it for the Yankees! Oh, he's clean so far. Look at this. All right, everybody get ready to yell. When he turns that barrel, I want to hear it. Give it to Tom now. Scream it! And shotguns were very prevalent. Why don't you talk about what we're going to show him now? Well, well, well. This is Carly Stanley. 16 years old, and you're going to see this cowgirl shoot the first five with a pistol. She will round the barrel at the rundown, pull a rifle out of a scabbard, a lever action rifle out of a scabbard, and shoot the five rundown balloons with a lever action rifle. Let me emphasize, watch both hands are on the rifle. So is she riding the horse with legs only? Legs only. You're going to see that here. All right, Carly. Show us what you got, cowgirl. And every shot, you'll see her cock that lever so that she'll be ready for the next one. Oh, she's carrying the mail through there, I'm telling you. All right, now she's pulling the rifle out now. Get ready to yell, run now. Come on! Run now! Now, he is from New Smyrna Beach. It's quarter horse named Legend. It's a nine-year-old quarter horse, blue roan, and he is a men's level three. I sold him this horse. When him and this horse got together, it was like a marriage. At least the first few years of a marriage. Because they got along really, really well. Y'all watch this cowboy ride and shoot. What he is going to do, if you'll notice that the five rundown balloons are now in a cluster of two and a cluster of three. He will be shooting two rounds from a double barrel or ten gauge. For those of you who don't know, that's the same diameter as a 45 long cold round. He's shooting the same rounds that we loaded to our pistols. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, New Smyrna Beach Cowboy, Justin and Nap. I thought they only did surfing over there. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to get an education. People don't realize how country Florida is. <laughs> now, he is flying through there. Look at that Look at that horse digging in. Okay, get ready on my cue for Ryan Seventy. He'd be older than Hill Skinner Carroll. 
You're not shooting from a golf cart, okay? <laughs> oh, we happen to have a horse. I'm glad you got it. Yes, sir. We're gonna have. We're gonna put a helmet on, folks. Looks like a nice, calm, pretty horse. His name is the last fry. <laughs> well, we do have Florida Blue here, right? But, all right, sir, that, that's, uh, let's see you try to get it. Yeah, I would let it smell you. That's a good idea. You might be buried together. Oh, yeah. We'll hold that. You won't need that. Too. And there's the helmet. Let's see if it... I got a helmet. I don't know if the gun's loaded. Did you check if the gun's loaded, sir? You're the sheriff? He's trying it. Let's do it. Take a look at it. Let's see what he knows. Well, they just okay, saved the gun. A safe gun is a loaded gun pointing in a safe direction, right? Should we just give him a book and let him pretend, or do y'all want the real thing? Own here. Oh, you up, sir. Hey, he's some to be a Got some rounds here, sir. Is that going to fit you, sir? You might have to suck it in a little bit. What kind of thing? What he's going to do is he opens up a little hatch on the side. I'm not sure it's going to fit. And then he's going to load the rounds in one at a time. That way you can load the rounds This is a single action revolver. Every single time you have to pull the hammer back. And there's one empty chamber. Does anybody have any idea why there's one empty chamber? Okay, exactly. During the period, there was no hammer box safety. If you drop that firearm on the ground, that firing pin would hit the fire, cause the ignition. There'd be a bullet escaping the end of that muzzle at a rapid rate, generally causing some sort of mass destruction, right? So we risk these firearms in an empty cylinder. The rumor is they put a $20 bill in that empty cylinder, so they got money to bury you with. <laughs> Probably won't do it for $20 these days. All right, you've got a gun bridle and a bit on the back lane. I don't know. <laughs> and hold this one. Often, people get on the first floor from the left side, and they get that because of the cavalry days, right? You can get on a horse on either side, and I suggest you do. And the reason for that is pulling that horse's back to the same side every time to make the horse run in circles, right? Come on. All right. So what I'd like you to do is to run your horse. That's all we've got. All right. I'll hold last ride. Okay. You help me get on here. you got to bend down. Bend down and look under there and see if it's a boy or girl, because that means a lot. <laughs> Okay. Don't sweet talk. Hey, don't mind. That's the last time. Oh, I just need a Richard. 
right, Richard, here's your fire plan and your right. firearm. <laughs> Richard Greenwood, 
and Cindy Stagley just rode for you. And Richard Greenwood, as you probably guessed, is a shooter, and it was a fun to play with you. But the next shooter you're going to see owns Stagecoach West. He's from Pennsylvania. He is the oldest shooter in our club at 79 years old. I stand correct. What's this guy out here in the Mountie uniform? Do oh, we have any Canadian people here? Whoops. Is this where they shoot at each other to break the tie 
selling horse tags. He's uh, got a website. He takes the mounted shooting equipment. He sells it at his store. But he's up in Pennsylvania. Anybody here from Pennsylvania? Yeah, there's a few in Pennsylvania. There's more in all than there is for any. I mean, Florida people. Right. Joanna, can you move the camera? <laughs> All right, y'all, here we go. This is Jack Peacock and a New York rider, Tom Hockridge. 